everybody. Hey, I just wanted to go over my wax empties and I thought today would be a perfect day to do it. I don't have a whole lot going on, so here we go. Um, I didn't go through that many. Well, actually, I warmed some non-Scentsy wax too, but right now I just want to show you what the Scentsy products that I went through. I had a lot of fun warming these. Some of these were surprises to me. They really surprised me. So, we'll get going with that. Um, I did go through some hand soap in peach and white amber. I love white amber. And, oh, it just smells really, really good. I think you can no longer get this one. I think I picked this one up last year in a sale. And, but I was able to finish it. And I really like this one a lot. And then I went through a scent circle of Cranberry Garland, and yes, I like Cranberry Garland. And this one, um, I just recently gave a scent description on this one, just the other day actually. And this one is Pine Cones and Cranberries and Sage. And with it, with it being nice and warm outside, this really threw some really good, powerful scent in my car. And it probably lasted for about three weeks. And it still has a lot of really good scent. What I like about these scent circles is they also put like a like a design on those as well. So they've got some uh, pine cones on there. And of course the name of the scent. So, yeah. So I only went through um, six bars of Scentsy total. Got some other started and finished, and also my husband went through a couple clams over in his trailer in Wyoming, and I just said, "Honey, where's your where's your empties?" And he goes, "Oh, I threw those away," but I told him, "I says, hang on to those." And so he went through. Finally, he whipped through Clean Breeze and Sea Salt Mist, and I don't have the scent notes on those, but Barry really likes those. So yeah. Um, I don't think he cares as much for Saddle Up. I left him the bar of wax of Saddle Up, and the only time that I used it was when I was over there. And so he still has that one, and I'm, I don't have an empty on that one yet either. So, But um, while I was over there, though, I was able to have him and I finish Strawberry Taffy. Um, this one... You guys, <laughs> all right, um, it smells really good warmed. It smells better warmed than it does on cold. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys have campers or trailers or little cabinets, but most campers and trailers have little cabinets that you can just cram stuff in. And, of course, in one of the cabinets that's under the bench seat in the place where we sit down to eat. Um, that's where I keep all the Scentsy Wax. And I opened up the drawer and it smelled horrible. And I was like, Barry, what is that smell? And he goes, I don't know. He says, you got your Scentsy in there. And I says, I know. It smells horrible. It smells almost like engine oil or something chemical. And I kept smelling it and I kept smelling it. And then I found the bar of strawberry taffy. And so I opened it up and I was like, it's this. <laughs> I said, strawberry taffy smells like engine oil, kind of like on cold. And I know that sounds horrible. And so, um, and what had happened is the camper had warmed up, okay? And when Barry's gone to work, he doesn't keep the AC on, you know, because him and the dog, he keeps Shelby, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi, with him. He takes her to work with him, and so they come home, and, and anyway... Um, yeah, it smelled horrible. It smelled horrible. So, but warmed, you guys, this smells awesome. It smells awesome warmed. It does, you no longer get that chemical engine oil smell. <coughs> you don't. It smells straight up like strawberry puffs. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but like, maybe 10, 12, 15 years ago. Remember the little gummy rings that came and they were sugared and um, 
you bought those, like they had them like at gas stations. You can still buy the, the gummy rings, but these are more like strawberry puffs. That's what they're called, and they're like a gummy strawberry candy, and one side is a strawberry, and the other side has got the cream side or the white side. That's exactly what they smell like. And actually, my husband likes this warmed, um, and those are actually his favorite candy. So, but that's kind of the reason why I s took this one over, because I'm thinking, strawberry candy, he might like this. To me, it doesn't really smell like strawberry taffy. It smells like those strawberry puffs. So that's strawberry taffy. Wow, I mean, amazing what happens when you warm something. Another one that blew my mind when I warmed it was uh, Black Currant Bubbly. And this one is still available in the Bring Back My Bar. This one, I do not like cold. I do not like cold. I think it stinks. I think it smells like dirty socks. I just don't like the smell. And I think what the smell was was like a too much champagne, too many champagne bubbles. And I did not like that. And the scent notes on this one are champagne bubbles, black currants, sweet oranges, and vanilla sugar. So go figure, right? But once you warm it after, I would say after about three or four hours, the champagne goes away. And then you are left with like this sweet orange, this sweet sugar, vanilla sugar vibe. And you can smell the black currants. And maybe it's the black currants and the champagne getting together. Yeah. But once the champagne leaves, it's very, very, very palatable for me. Would I purchase this one again? Probably not. But I'm just glad that I got the opportunity to warm it. So I'm glad I got to warm it. I got to figure out a little bit more about this one. So that is black currant bubbly. Another one that I warmed right now that is available still to bring back my bar is Autumn Sunrise. Now this one, this one has a lot of citrus in it. Although there isn't a whole lot of citrus in the front, in the, in the scent descriptions. Um, this one says tart pomegranate and spiced cinnamon stick, raspberry, and nutmeg. So, where's the orange? That's what I'd like to know. But to me, it, to me, it must be the pomegranate that kind of gives it that vibe. But it's very, very light on the spices, and I absolutely love that. So, it's like an autumn sunrise. Yeah, I mean, if autumn sunrises should not be sharp with heavy cinnamon scents. It should not be there. And it was not there. This scent was absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I loved it. I had it warming throughout my whole house. And then after about the fourth day, I put on a mandarin clove candle from Avon to kind of balance everything out. And you guys, I got another day out of this. It's, it was gorgeous. I love this one. And I didn't have enough of this one to go around in my warmer. So in the back bedrooms, I had squeeze the day going. Oh my goodness. It smelled so awesome in here. In fact... I was gone for a couple days, and I came home, and of course the house was closed up, and of course all the warmers were off, and you guys, it smelled wonderful in here. I was just like, it just smelled amazing. I just can't even begin to tell you how amazing it was. So if you do have any autumn sunrise, and if you do have some squeeze a day, put these two together, see what happens. I think you you will not be disappointed. I know I wasn't. I was just thrilled. Just thrilled. And then another one that I finished up was Churro Churro, and I'm actually warming it right now. Churro Churro is so nice, it's so pleasant, it doesn't have a lot of cinnamon. It just has got some of that yummy vanilla sugar yumminess. Oh, you can smell the baked pastry. You can really smell that churro. It smells so good. And for the first couple days, you will get some cinnamon in it. Then after that, it just it just mellows out to a really pleasant scent. So I love this one. Would I purchase this one again? Absolutely. And then last but not least, I warmed or I finished up a bar of French Kiss. 
Now this one, you guys, is nice. Ah, oh, and it's got the fig, the coconut pulp, exotic cedar, and caramel. So it's kind of one of those scents that you would maybe want to warm, like if you have like a special date planned with your significant other. And yeah, this one is definitely, this one could set the mood, absolutely. And I love the scent of the fig. And there is a touch of coconut pulp. The cedar is a little heavy. Um, I don't know about the caramel. I could, no, I don't know if I could pick up any caramel. But definitely nice. This one's not available unless you manage to put this one in your scent pub. So, but I so enjoyed this one. You know, Scentsy does not disappoint. They do not disappoint. I love Scentsy Wax. And I've been trying other waxes and um, candles and things in the past two weeks. And I'm having a total blast. But you know what? My first love is Scentsy. Scentsy is a very great product. And it's worth every penny that you pay. Hey, you guys have a great Sunday. And I will be talking to you soon. Bye.